Hello and welcome to this uh, service of Fired Up on um, in the middle of Holy Week. I want to mention that we have a Monday Thursday service scheduled for Thursday night at 6.30 at Veterans Memorial Park. Uh, you can come early, like 5.30, 5.45, whatever, if you want to uh, bring a dinner and, uh, and eat there. And then uh, the actual service will be at 6.30 and will include communion. You don't need to bring elements or anything. You just need to show up. Uh, so that's Thursday. Um, and then uh, Easter Sunday, we'll have uh, in-person worship outdoors in the parking lot. So for now, though, let's prepare to worship God. in the lost and forsaken, gather us in the blind and the lame, call to us now and we shall awaken, we shall arise at the sound of your name. Not in the dark of buildings confining, not in some hell. in and hold us forever gather us in and make us your own gather us in all peoples together fire of love on our flesh and our bone okay we're now in holy week uh, lots has happened lots more is about to uh, something like, I don't know, a, a quarter or a third of the Gospels are given over to this week. Um, Jesus had his triumphal entry, which we celebrate as Palm Sunday. Uh, Thursday is Monday Thursday, when we celebrate the First Communion. And then Good Friday is when Jesus was crucified, and Easter Sunday when he rose from the dead. This particular scene that we're going to encounter uh, in the reading I'm about to give uh, comes right after Jesus washed his disciples' feet. So they're getting ready for dinner. Uh, they, they come in. Um, as they're uh, preparing for dinner, Jesus washes his disciples' feet and then tells them, you know, do, do, go and do likewise, essentially. Uh, and then we'll have um, the scene we we read today and then uh, eventually it gets to um, the first uh, communion uh, and then uh, the events Thursday night and Good Friday and so forth. But for now, let's pray for illumination. Eternal God, by your word and spirit, you have given us a new commandment to love and serve one another in Jesus' name. Let the good news of your liberating love be sealed in our hearts and shown in our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, this is from John 13, verses 21 through 32. After saying this, so after uh, telling them why he uh wash their feet, and, and so forth. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. 
So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that, because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, the Gospels, all four Gospels say that Judas betrayed Jesus, but they disagree on the reason why. So in, it, we'll, we'll stay true to uh, the reading and just focus on what John says. Uh, in John's gospel, we hear that Satan entered Judas. Um, Jesus had earlier, early just like the day before, had claimed that he would conquer the ruler of this world. And so what we're seeing is the battle between good and evil. Uh, we see um, evil represented as Satan entering into Judas, um, working against Jesus, so that Jesus can ultimately uh, conquer, conquer, and um, in uh, conquer the ruler of this world. So Jesus knows that Judas would betray him, and yet he honors him. So in the preceding scene. I mentioned that Jesus washed his disciples' feet. That was a job that was normally allocated to the uh, to the slaves. It was a, a menial, uh, filthy, disgusting task that you that you gave to the lowest uh, person in the household, um, lowest slave in the household. But Jesus did that for his disciples to show them that. Um, that following him meant following him in service. And service means not just the things that are pleasant, but also the things that are unpleasant. So Jesus honored Judas by washing his feet, even though Jesus knew that Judas was going to betray him. And then in the middle of this meal, um, Jesus continues to serve Judas. So this is a Passover meal. Um, some churches, in, and our church was one of them some years ago, uh, celebrate a Christian Seder because they, they say, well, the Last Supper, the, 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 uh, the, the meal that we're talking about here, was a Seder meal. Um, but that's not historically correct. So we are right now in the midst of uh, Passover, uh, as I speak. Uh, Passover proper was last weekend. Uh, and there's a Seder is a is a uh, formal meal that has a lot of traditions wrapped around it that Jews uh, have on Passover. But that tradition didn't arise until three or four hundred years after Jesus. So from the time of the Exodus, when uh, the Jews were were liberated from Egypt, until, you know, a few hundred years after Jesus, they were having a Passover meal. Um, but, but the traditions that they followed were, were different than the, the Seder that we have now. Still, it was a, uh, it was a Passover meal. They had, a, they had a lamb that they got from the temple, and um, the most senior man would kind of preside over the meal, so that's what Jesus was doing. So he was, um, he was in charge of the meal, and he 
dip the bread in bitter herbs and some other uh, foods that were traditional related to um, the Passover. Uh, and, and by dipping it and giving it to Judas, that was a way of honoring Judas. And yet, Judas goes out and betrays him. So throughout this section of John's Gospel, Jesus keeps doing stuff and then saying, "Do follow me. Do the same things that I do. So he gives them a new commandment after this passage to love one another. He tells them to wash each other's feet, which is to say to serve them, to serve one another. So here he's, he's showing what it is to love and serve one another. It's not just to love and serve our friends, but also our enemies. Uh, throughout the gospel, there are people that Jesus criticizes or admonishes, but there's nobody that Jesus doesn't love. There's nobody that Jesus doesn't serve. And so we must do the same. So the, the question I would put to you is, who do you struggle to love? And who do you struggle to serve? Uh, who are you called to reconcile with? Where are you called to go to serve? Even if it's not real pleasant, even if it's uh, people you don't like, um, still Jesus is calling us each to to love and serve our neighbor. So who are you called to love and serve? Okay. I am going to share the prayer in the, that's from the, uh, this is the Book of Common Worship. Um, this is the prayer for um, the night of Monday, Thursday. When I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond, hear our prayer. Liberating and redeeming God. We give thanks that you hear the cries of your people. Therefore, in your time, in our time of trial, we call upon your name, saying, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As you delivered our ancestors from slavery and led them to a land of promise and plenty, liberate all who are captive or oppressed and bring them to a place of abundant life. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. As you saved your people from death on the night of the Passover, redeem us from sin and death through Jesus Christ the Lamb. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, stooped down to wash his disciples' feet, Teach us to love and serve our neighbors with Christ-like compassion and humility. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As Christ the Lord has handed on to us a feast of grace in his body and blood, help us to share with all who hunger the gifts we have received from you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our liberator and redeemer, we give thanks that you have heard our cry. Continue to lead us from death to life eternal, and let our lives be a sign of your saving love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse for my soul, for my soul, to bear the dreadful curse for my soul. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing and joyful be. And through eternity, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. And through eternity, I'll sing on.